Hello and welcome to another Bushwhacker Review. Today we are going to be taking a look at Alan Corky's Hooters Ford from 1993. As you can see this is a historical series release so it's your historical series box. Got a picture of the car, 1993, action racing collectibles, Alan Quickie historical series. They got a little bit of a bio if you want to read it. This is his you know, final year car, the year he was tragically killed in a plane crash. And so it was his final kind of final year NASCAR cars, final year living, just a not sure why they chose to make this one not his championship car, but it's kind of cool. So, same bio, another picture of the car, same stuff, same stuff. See, they made 6,010 of these. Copyright and such on the bottom, as usual. Let's get down to the car itself. Now, if this looks familiar, it's existed twice this year. <laughs> Two different people ran. This is the throwback this year. Greg Biffle ran it, which I think is better, and they're actually making a die cast of. On his 16 car. And then Regan Smith ran it on his 7 car. So, that just shows how much of an iconic paint scheme this is and just how much of an iconic driver this is that two different people do the throwback in the same race. They only made a 164 of Regan Smith's throwback. They, they're making, I think, the whole 124 and everything of the Biffle. I will get that one if it comes out just to go with this one. So, stay tuned for that review if it actually gets made. Well, let's do a quick 360 of the car, as usual. Strangely enough, no Thunderbird, no Underbird, no nothing on the front. It's kind of a shame. That might be accurate, I don't know. <laughs> Alan Quickie was the first true driver to go, you know, win a championship. Just as this kind of small team alone. Some people, you know, sort of related it to Tony Stewart in 2011, but there's in no way in hell, that is in no way the same. <laughs> he literally started this from the scratch up. Tony Stewart just kind of bought a team and made it useful. <laughs> but... Let's get down to sponsors. On the hood, you have Hooters Restaurant. Got a picture of the owl right there. Number seven, got Ford and the Thunderbird logo. Down the side, you have Hooters. You got Classic Ford. You got Naturally Fresh Foods, Pure Later Filters, Bowman, American Racing, Motorcraft Batteries, Crane Arms, Mac Tools, Kirk, and some. That's what that red logo is back there. On the back, you have Hooters and a number seven. And you have the same stuff down the other side. Nothing on the deck lid. Take a look under the hood. Another one that doesn't really want to stay open. You don't have anything on the bottom side of the hood, but there's the engine detail if you would like to see it. Take a look under the deck lid, which also doesn't want to stay open. There's your fuel cell and such down there. No roof flaps back then. There's the underside of the car if you would like to see it. Decent looking car. Overall, this is such a great paint scheme and just such an iconic paint scheme that I would definitely recommend you having a version of this in your collection. There's this one. There's also a Napa, which is, I think, the 1992 version, but there's one of those Napa promos they did in 1998. I think it's a cheaper. It's kind of gold series quality, but it still makes for a nice car if you just want one of these paint schemes. And once Greg Bivol's throwback comes out, I think these are even going to get harder to find. Right now, these go for about 100 bucks, usually whenever they come up. Here's next to a 164th. I don't know if this is technically the same year, but I have this as a 164th, so there you go. This is a weird 164th. See, it has black windows, and for some reason, the wheels were very weird on this. As you can see, they're like, the lettering's kind of like off of them, and they're just kind of all smushy. That's how they are on the packaging, too. It's kind of strange. That one's even worse. <laughs> like, I've seen pictures of this car, and it's literally, it's on like a flat card back like that. It's like a Hooters card back. But I would definitely not recommend picking up this die cast because it's just... It's got rubber tires, but like, you can probably see that they're just like... This isn't even like where. This is like right out of the box. It's like this, so... I don't know. That's really weird. But back to the 124th. Definitely worth your time. Probably should point out that this is old enough that it actually does have the Winston Cup logo and the NASCAR logo and the Bush logo and all that good stuff. So if you want this die cast, it's not too hard to find, but it's not going to be cheap. And I would definitely recommend doing it again. But I think the truant's all is to say. This has been a review of Alan Quickie's Hooters Ford from 1993. Hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching.